In today's buying and selling markets, we always hear about the experience. Well, just what is the buying experience and why should it matter to me? When it comes to buying a home, probably the biggest purchase anyone makes in their lifetime, it's incredibly important. Having the right team in place to help you find and then buy the house of your dreams is more than salesmanship and bravado. It's about experience, market savvy, and a passion for the business and your clients. Our guest today has made a career from building relationships and focusing on outstanding results for her clients. Let's talk with Tanya Walker about what sets her apart from her peers and how she creates the ultimate real estate experience. Hi, and welcome to Coffee with Claire. As you regular viewers and listeners know, we're always meeting and talking with business leaders, entrepreneurs, and those who like to give back and have fun. My guest today is Tanya Walker. Tanya is a top producing real estate professional with the Walker Group here in North Texas. As a part of Coldwell Banker Apex, the Walker Group emphasizes family first in how they conduct business on a daily basis. Tanya also has a rich background of experience, including a strong background in the legal profession. Please join me in welcoming Tanya Walker. Welcome, Tanya. Good morning, Claire. Thank you for having me. <laughs> oh, you're so welcome. I am so excited to have you here. You know, Tanya and I have known each other for a long time. I'm not going to tell you how long. Well, I guess we could. But, <laughs> but you know, we met at a... Um, a presentation I did, one of my very mm -hmm. first stand-up speaking events. Business about entrepreneur. It. Yeah, and um, you know when you know as a speaker, at, when you're done, you know sometimes people have additional questions that they want to ask after afterwards and everything. And Tanya just kind of hung around, and she didn't really have any extra questions, but she wanted to help me clean up. It's like. Who stays around to help a speaker clean up? You know, and uh, we got to talking, and we realized that we both kind of had a, a, a common connection mm -hmm. in regards to the Kansas City experience right. and things like that. And so, you know, we just became fast friends, and um, you know, I've, we've watched each other's business kind of grow as our, our friendship has grown as mm -hmm. well. And so, I'm really excited to have you here today to, you know, talk about this whole real estate thing. I mean, it's it's a big deal when people buy a house, and absolutely. Yeah, and so you know, it's it's like let's let's figure this process out a little bit. Um, now, remind me, how long have you been in real estate now? Well, I got my license in 2012. Okay, we moved here in 2011, and I decided to uh, build a home and go to school. Okay, so <laughs> did, did you do it in that order? You build a home. It's like, oh, now I'm going to learn how to sell this thing, or what? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, no, I decided to get my real estate's license after sitting in front of multiple homes by myself and lots and trying to figure out what I was doing oh. uh, and, and being left on the, uh, the front lawn of a property because the agent didn't have time to show me more properties. Wow. Yeah. So it was just a, it was not a very good experience. So that just in itself showed you what you didn't want to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? Right. Well, and I had never even thought about getting into real estate. Um, but something triggered and I thought, you know, other people need to have a better experience than this. Yeah. Well, you know, people want to be treated like people and not just mm -hmm. like, I mean, <laughs> abandoning you on somebody's lawn. That's literally, it's like a little garden gnome. It was, <laughs> just I just watched, I, like, I watched her drive off and went, like, Oh, <laughs> I still need a house. <laughs> and now I need a ride too. <laughs> Luckily I drove separate. Oh, but okay. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least I have a cell phone, so I call Uber, right? <laughs> Just, well, you haven't always been in real estate, as you alluded to. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of the other things that you've done, and how do you feel like that that additional um, exposure to other business worlds has really helped you in your real estate business? Well, I'll keep it short. I have many, many hats, but <laughs> me too. I get many it. hats. Um, but one of the 
biggest hats that I wore and very on, I'm very honored to have a part of it was I was uh, in the legal field for 17 years. Mm. Uh, so I was an assistant paralegal um, and, and it was just, a, it was a great experience. I had the most wonderful opportunities uh, with some of the most leading uh, law firms in the country. Wow. So um, I would imagine with that type of background and, and the kinds of work that you did, that you are pretty meticulous when it comes to your work ethic in your business now. Ethics, very much so. Yeah. Uh, from the legal field and just from myself. I mean, ethics are huge and, uh, and I've always been uh, making sure that we treat people right and do the right things for them. Um, and, and even in the, and I know attorneys get a lot of uh, flack for certain things, but I'll tell you what, the ones that I worked with, they were amazing people and took care of people the right way. And so you kind of brought that, mm -hmm. to, I, although that's part of your DNA, you know, mm -hmm. you're, you, you breathe that, you're always wanting to take care of other people. Mm -hmm. So um, I would think that having that extra legal background with that experience is just like amazing when it comes to you taking care of your clients it is i, I try I, that's my goal is making sure that we uh, are paying attention to the contract compliances absolutely because that's just huge you can't let uh, dates go by those are uh, there's a contract for a reason and it's a legal document so somebody, a muggle like me, needs somebody like you to help us, you know, get through it and make sure that we don't do something that we're not supposed to do or we don't, right. um, you know, forget something that is really, really important. Because, you right. know, when you're selling a house, you're kind of distracted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. You got a couple other things on right. your mind. So, um, now, so the real estate business here in Texas has been booming. It's just exploded. And a lot mm -hmm. of people seem to be jumping on the bad bandwagon. Mm -hmm. So how do you differentiate yourself from the competition that's out there? Well, I don't ride the same wagon. Okay. Uh, I've always had the mindset of staying in my own lane. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, my whole goal is making sure that people are taken care of. Um, and the way I, we differentiate ourselves is just um, putting them first, making sure that, that we protect them, making sure that we provide them with as much information about whether it's contracts, whether it's about a home, or whether it's about the whole process in general. Um, there's more to it than from A to Z. There's a whole lot in between that goes on. And our job, and my job, is to make sure that I help them to understand that and answer the questions for them. And um, I would also think it's anticipating the questions that they might not even know mm -hmm. to ask. Correct. Yeah, so, you know, that kind of a... Uh, guiding light mm -hmm. I think would be very comforting because it's you know it's a, an emotional right. and sometimes handling things that they don't even know that are going on behind the scenes you know uh, there's a reason that that I'm here is so that they don't I'm, I'm to release some of that burden on them yeah you know and from them so it's to take away and handle the things behind the scene that they don't even know that we're jumping through hoops and having conversations and arguing with the lender or, <laughs> you know, whatever that might be, you know, or getting, you know, the, the contractors to come out to the house and make sure that everything is buttoned down the way it's supposed to be. Because if I question whether something was done right, if I feel like that it's not, um, I'll bring my own contractors out to look at it. Oh, wow. Because I want to make sure that my clients are getting into a home and that it's going to be a good home. And it's going to be safe. Mm -hmm. It's going to be um, done the way they want Correct. it. Yeah. So um, you're dealing with a really emotional buy and sell. You know, people become so attached to their homes. I know Absolutely. I did. And, you know, because it's like so many of your life your stories, yeah. you know, your experiences. It's like, oh, I remember when Johnny lost his first tooth right here by the piano in Absolutely. the living room. Or, you know, th those memories are stored there. So what are some of the things that you've experienced where you've um, helped people get talked down from the ledge? It's tough. It's tough. Um, I think the one thing that I have that a lot of people uh, may not have is I have personal experience. Uh, you know, it's one thing to be from Texas, and I love Texas. This is our home. 
but we've not lived here forever. Mm-hmm. We've, I've had the opportunity to move around. My husband is corporate, so we've moved around eight times uh, throughout the United States. Wow. Um, and that's when our kids were young. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that was back in the days where we had carpet everywhere, <laughs> and I had to draw the lines with the you know the vacuum cleaner every morning while the kids are sitting in the car yeah and um inevitably they would forget something you know and you tiptoe around the edge (laughs) don't mess up the lines right (laughs) exactly exactly so um as far as for helping people come off the ledge with it it's it's not so much let them be on the ledge but it's for me to listen to them and Mm -hmm. for me to to be able to provide be that sounding board so if they need to vent i need to be able to take that and then, but for me to be able to, to, to get to them, get them to their end goal, you know, because everybody deals with emotions a different way. Yeah. You know, some people are very, very, uh, you know, it's a financial investment. Mm-hmm. It's a financial, um, but it's also, like you said, a very emotional, uh, we've actually, uh, you know, you have the, the little measuring for, for all the kids. Yes. We have taken that whole door frame completely out. And, re, and I've had my contractors redo the door frame perfectly, but I've given that door frame as a gift. Oh my gosh, how thoughtful. Because you, that, that's a memory. Yeah. That's a memory. You know, you want to you wanna give that to them. And it's not, it may not even be my, my seller. It may be my buyers that are buying the home. You know, but we want to make sure that that seller has that. Yeah. And they, you know, you know that, you, that they treasure mm-hmm. that forever. Absolutely. And it's like, and what a great story for them. Mm-hmm. You know, guess what? This this is where I got this, you right. know? And so that's advertising that just keeps going, mm-hmm. you know, further and further right. for you, even though that really wasn't the purpose. The, the purpose goal. came out of your heart. Right. And, you know, that you mm-hmm. really are a heart-based business mm-hmm. person. You're smart. And you're savvy. And I tell you what, she's a bulldog. She is going to fight. I mean, she's just like, I got this. <laughs> Definitely a mama bear. <laughs> yeah, she puffs up. <laughs> and gets things done. Uh, but, you know, but at the same time, um, you know, with a heart. I mean, you, and since you moved so many times mm-hmm. as a family, you can also empathize with the kids. Oh, Absolutely. Absolutely. I give all kinds of ideas for moms and dads to do for the kiddos because change is hard. Change is hard for us. Right. You know, changing our direction of driving to work sometimes is difficult. <laughs> you know, we, we have a path that, that we drive and then all of a sudden it's different. And that's, that puts us out. Yeah. You know, or changing our, our grocery store changes. Right. You know, it, it, that's hard. The doctor, the well, dentist, your hairdresser, everything. Everything changes. Well, those kiddos, their whole world changes. They can't process the fact that they're going to make new friends. They process the fact that I'm losing my friends. Mm-hmm. You know, what, what am I going to do? So there has been so many times that I have went over after a meeting with them for the appointments that I'll go back and sit down with the kids, you know, and I'll say, let me tell you, or I'll have my sons you know, come over and sit down with me. They're grown now, Mm -hmm. but they'll talk to the little ones to go, okay, Uh here's what we did. We made it into an adventure, you know? And so we give ideas to people. And I hear all the time from sellers going, thank you so much because the kids didn't want to sell. Yeah. Dad has to go to work or mom has to go and it just helps them. Well, and you know, you probably, um, uh, gosh, you're saying things that mom and dad are saying, but s- because you're a third neutral mm-hmm. party, the kids kind of s- stand up and listen to you right. a little bit more. And of course, I'm sure the parents in the background are going, "Yay! Thank you for yeah, saying that." Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> it just puts everybody us. at ease. Yeah, it, you know, it's tough because as a parent, you don't want to you don't want to make your little one hurt no. in any way, you know, and you want to give them that that sense of peace. Well, as as a parent. The kids are looking at us, and and if they feel the tension, then they feel the tension. Oh yeah, kids pick up on everything you know, like so. that. So, well, you know, so here's something kind of weird about Claire. I know there's a lot of things, but one of the things is that I love looking at model homes. I do, and we can do. you? Well, okay, so okay, so I'm not so weird Mm-mm, after all. Oh, no, okay, I have to take no. that weird card away from myself. <laughs> well, <laughs> but why are they so darn appealing? Perception. Ooh, yeah. I like the way you say that. Perception. Perception. You perceive it being perfect because yeah. no one has ever lived there. 
you know, there's no water spots on the, in the <laughs> right. in, on anything, you know, in the shower, you can see yourself. And, and I hear it so many times, it's kind of cute. I'll hear people walk in and they're like, oh, I could so live like this. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I hear it all the time. Could be an offer right? for it, right? And no, none of us. <laughs> Some maybe. <laughs> Most <Yes>. of us, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> you know, because we all have closets and we put stuff in the closets. Oh, well, when yeah. you go to the model homes, there's nothing. So you see it's so pristine and perfect and this, the, from the furniture to the decor to everything just looks, per- it just flows. Yeah, it does. You know, and uh, yeah, I think that, you know, we all think that we can live like that. Yeah, until you get all your stuff in the house and it's like, okay, maybe not. <laughs> right, right. Well, and, you know, even the process of before you start getting ready to sell the house or getting ready to move, you know, just getting to the point of being able to sell your house can be just oh, overwhelming. Exhausting. I mean, I, where do I start? I have mm-hmm. accumulated all this stuff for 17 years right. and all of a sudden I got to get it out of the way. Mm-hmm. So how do you guide your clients through this process? Um, there are multiple different ways. One, I'll, uh, I will discuss with them if they need help or if I sense that they need a little bit of help, Mm -hmm. then I will offer either myself to walk through the property with them and let's talk about what we can do, some ideas of how to make it easy for them. Okay. Um, Or I'll have a stager come over that will help them even process it a little bit even differently. Okay. And and offer guidance. Um, And we also have other companies that we work with that'll come in and actually pack up for them. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Boy. Because sometimes some, I'm telling you it, it everybody has their, their place uh, and they can be amazing at what they do on their job, but it, it, it's organizing and packing or just decluttering or just certain things are just not their forte mm-hmm. uh, and they shut down. Um, and that's where we come in and, and we can help them with that. And I sense that and, and I truly understand Um, And so we'll, like I said, we we can provide in in every different format that they need, a little bit to a lot. And and when you walk through the home, since you've got so much experience now, you know, you Mm -hmm. really are good at helping people just get the bigger picture of why they mm-hmm. need to get get rid of it it's not that it's bad to have it right. but you're looking at it from that perception i have to look at it in the business sense. yes of what's you know, gonna even though i i totally i am a very emotional attached to my home and my kids and all i mean i have every picture and every card they've ever given me Aww. every card um so i get it but at the same time when it comes to business i have to be that business voice for for them so it's up to me to make sure that we we look at everything in the in the so that I can get them to their goal. Right. Yeah, you have to just position what they're selling in the best possible light mm-hmm. for them to get the best possible offer. Correct. You know, cuz you know, you definitely want to make sure that mm-hmm. they're maximizing right that that piece of property mm-hmm. that they're selling. Um, and I know that you're really good at building up that loyalty through all these different things that you've talked about. You know, I, I know we've had conversations before where you've told me that you've had multiple sales and purchases yeah. from the same family or their extended family. So um, what do you attribute that loyalty to? I mean, how do you gain that from people? Um, first off, I can't take any credit for any of anything that I do. I give all the credit to the Lord. Always. Uh, because I don't know what I do sometimes, <laughs> but outside of being real, yeah, um, I have such an empathy and sympathy, sympathy to what people are going through, and I think that people sense that. Sure, um, I have always respected people, and uh, it, it, whether I agree or disagree uh, with certain things, but I respect them, um, and I think that they they know that I'll help protect them. Yeah, you just you make you make people feel really calm and comfortable, Mm -hmm. and you know it's just you know you seem to really have your heart Mm -hmm. in what you do. So (laughs) with all of these extra things that you're doing for your clients, how in the world do you balance time and thoughts between your clients and your family? Because it seems like you're on twenty four seven. It sounds like 
<laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> Should I have your husband on to answer this question? No, actually, <laughs> you know, it, it's been challenging. Um, and I do. I work a lot. I work a lot of hours, but I've always been a worker. Mm-hmm. Um, I have a, a great support group. You know, my husband is, and my kids, and when I say kids, they're grown, but they're still my kids. Of course. They are my biggest fans. They are my biggest fans. And on the days that I cried, and trust me, I have, I am not a wimpy person, but when you go from a solid career, you know, that you're a part of a lead team, mm-hmm. um, to making nothing, <laughs> and Big start, difference. you know, <laughs> and not being an entrepreneur. I, this was a completely different facet for me. Yeah, um, yeah, they have totally been my supporters. And you got this, mom. You got this, hun. And to the point where they're even my muscle. So, like, if I have you know staging that I'm doing myself, um, that maybe my stager or the the clients can't afford or don't want to afford, mm. but I, I feel that they need a little bit of attention to a couple areas. My guys will come in and help me stage for me. Wow. Um, I've had families that you walk up and go, oh my, I, I got to do something with this front yard and we've landscaped the whole front yard. <laughs> you know, so there's different things, but you know, as far as balance, you know, our motto as a family, ever since they were little was we work hard and we play hard. So when we are together, we really enjoy each other. So you you are able to kind of turn it on and off. Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, and you know that's that's great um, to know now. You know you've learned through you know some kind of rocky spots. Mm-hmm. So if you were to take a brand new real estate agent under your wing mm-hmm. and give them some coaching advice, what would you tell them, Tanya? Um, be confident in who you are. Be confident in what you do, and as long as you're doing what's right for people, it'll work out. It'll work out the way it's supposed to. Um, and again, stay in your lane. <laughs> stay you know, in your there's lane. there's so much that goes on in this in this business, uh, and there's so much that's coming at us. Do this, do that, spend this, spend that. You know, uh, stay in your lane. If your passion is this, then go for it. And, st- and stay there but as long as it's again not focused on yourself but focused on your client um, I think they'll be fine um, and just make sure that you have a good mentor you always know, uh, uh, in, in, in I think that's very important uh, is to having a good mentor whether they're in the business or not yeah, it's always nice to have that extra, you know, mm-hmm. set of eyes looking at things. So, mm-hmm. well, Tanya, how can our audience contact you and find out more about your company? Well, it's Tanya Walker. Uh, they are welcome to uh, call, text. Uh, they can go on WhatsApp. They can go on my Facebook, my website. Um, we'll answer to anything. <laughs> you know, because everybody doesn't, you know, I work with clients from all over the country. From all over the world uh, and their timeline is different than my timeline um, so we are available um, so whatsapp is great uh, it's free uh, and as well as facebook well thank you again tanya for joining us today You're and thank you to our listeners and viewers please make sure that you like and share us on facebook and follow us on twitter instagram and on linkedin We'll see you next time on Coffee with Claire. Bye-bye. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Coffee with Claire. To learn more about today's guests, visit their website or find them on Facebook. To learn more about me, Claire Billingsley, follow me on LinkedIn or visit my website at coffeewithclaire.tv. And to hear more episodes of Coffee with Claire, subscribe, rate, and review the show on your favorite podcast and social media platforms.